Hey YouTube, we're finishing up our road trip here at Atlanta, <clears throat> and um, well, look at this, going around a parallel parking car, and we're uh, going to do one more reaction video with Ellie. Say hi, Ellie. Hey, I'm back. Uh, and we're in uh, Midtown Atlanta, down near the Georgia Tech um, campus area. So we're going to do about 10 or 15 minutes in a little bit of a downtown scenario. The last one was a little bit more suburban. Um, this is FSD Beta 10.1. Hopefully we won't have the same camera and audio issues we had the other day. Apologize for that. But in any case, oh, we got a short route here to a supercharger. Then we're going to navigate back. Okay, wait, we got a... Okay, there's a car over there that it was uh, merging into. So I had to disengage. Off to a good start. Yeah, well, you know, it's, it, it's a little bit more difficult in a downtown scenario I mean, there's a chance that it was just kind of creeping over and that car could have made it but that car did a little tap and the car over to the right to me did a tap I think our indecision was what confused everybody there anyway thanks again Ellie for driving uh, with us today and I, I know a few people made comments yesterday about how old you were are you a old, are you old enough to drive yes <laughs> Indeed so. I've been driving for about 10 years. So she's 25. A, she is a she is a, a 10 year old driver. Um, and she doesn't drive with me on FSD Beta very much. Matter of fact, we don't even drive in the car together very much. This road trip is a great example of us being able to travel. All right, it's trying to change lanes here, but it needs to go, okay, it, okay, this is, it started to go around this car in front of us. Um, but now we have some pedestrians that the car in front is waiting for. I do have a car behind me. I'm tapping the accelerator. So that was an intervention. I'm tapping the accelerator again, holding the accelerator now. Okay, so that was a, a complete intervention there because it did not have the acceleration to get through that intersection after the pedestrians had cleared with traffic behind us. Um, so that wasn't great. I, I mean, I guess I kind of understand some of these scenarios where it, it doesn't know when to go, but with cars around us, all right, a little bit more lane changing this here turning right all right and over two lanes and then look on a nice straight away everything's smooth so it's, <laughs> it's all about turns traffic and interactions that kind of makes it crazy it feels like i mean i don't know how would you characterize that last few minutes there um, I would say this drive is definitely a lot different than our last one, just that the airway we were in last time, it was kind of simple and not a lot of opportunities for scenarios. In Atlanta, where we are, there's a lot of different, you know, scooters, there's cars, there's weird turns, pedestrians kind of going whenever. So I feel like it's kind of expected. Yeah, well. It's learning. We're kind of seeing how it goes. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, obviously we hope for the best, but you gotta sort of expect the worst when you're when you're the one safety driving here. Okay, um, so here is a stoplight. It should be a protected left. In other words, as soon as it goes green, there's no traffic we need to yield to. There is a median on the other side. You can't quite, it's not mapping it right now, but there is a median It needs to go around uh, there. But the path looks okay that it's projecting. Yeah, we've been uh, driving a little bit in Atlanta the last uh, few days, and it it's like every intersection or pedestrian encounter is another opportunity for a 60% success rate, if that makes sense. It's, so it's like, it makes good decisions a lot of the time, but every time you have an interaction, it's kind of 60% right, and that means a lot more interactions that don't work out. Okay. So now it needs to kind of get in the center lane here. It's got its blinker over and it, ooh, ooh. What'd that feel like to you? <laughs> like a little boost, but like everything went what, okay. Wasn't too much. Okay, so now it's got its blinker on again. That was good. Yeah. Not a bad turn. Not bad. 
there's like a bus, a party bus right there. Yeah, so it, it shows kind of a, 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 a road I actually haven't used yet, and there's very little traffic, but there ended up being some parked cars. Now here we are, some cones. Um, all right, this one has a stop sign. I'm gonna snapshot that just for the labeling team. Every time stop signs have these special labels on them, I think they're unique cases for the labeling team to have. All right, what's it doing here? It's creeping for visibility. It's wide open, so it didn't really have to interact with anything. So that felt nice and smooth, uh, but absent any car traffic, there's no way to know uh, really how successful it would have been. So while once we hopped out of, out of the actual Midtown and crossed that interstate, it kind of, all the traffic went away and it's more of a, a road uh, obstacle course. But it definitely chose the fastest route because uh, there was no traffic on this. Ooh, look at this. The stop signs now are not on the side of the road. They're on the fence on the other side of the street. I'm gonna snapshot that again. Uh, oh, what do you, I don't know. <laughs> it kind of stopped. Like there was a stop sign, but there wasn't. We had already stopped. Yeah. So it like so it stopped, it did the turn and stopped again. Maybe it had something to do. Okay, so we are now at the uh, Atlantic Station, I believe is the name of it, Supercharger Station here in Atlanta. And they have just added a whole bunch of V3s here for any of you kind of traveling this part of the country or live here. It's kind of in a parking garage. There's 30 minutes of free parking, I think is what it is, or maybe it's two hours. I think it's two hours of free parking, I'm sorry. So it's, it's a pretty good uh, location. It's a little bit of a maze in there uh, if you've ever, uh, not been here before um yeah two, two hours of free parking i just read the sign so anyway it's a it's a great station sorry go they, ahead. don't they have they have the vertical parking and what's the other ones they just added oh yeah so some of them are the straight ahead pull parking and then some of them the ones you have to back in so they had a little bit of both all right let's get another destination in here and hopefully it picks a little bit more of a, a different route here yeah it looks a little different Okay, navigating autopilot's available. We are at a stop sign. I'm engaging at the stop sign. Okay, it just went for it without really looking. Maybe it saw. Okay, but again, we're, there's no traffic really here, so it felt okay. Okay, so it's honoring the 15 mile an hour speed limit signs here, which is good. I have a, a couple percent here on the override. that up there. Sorry, I didn't have the widescreen be displayed. A little speed bump. Yo! <laughs> it didn't slow down at all for that, did it? No, but it wasn't. And it was pretty well marked. I mean, it had paint on it and everything, but it, I mean. I, I think it could have been worse. I don't think it was bad. I think we were just expecting it to be bad and braced, but. But because it was, because it was already going 17 and it didn't go any slower, we have no idea of knowing if it actually saw it or not. It'd be great if it had a little uh, alert for speed bumps. Um, okay, so this is a dual turn lane uh, here. You can see the signs up ahead, I think. And there's a little bit of traffic here, but we should get a protected arrow, I believe. Now we've got a car adjacent to us. But if you look in the intersection on the display map, there actually isn't a white line for it to follow. So it needs to create, it, oh, I'm sorry, we're going straight yeah. ahead. Yeah, we're going straight we're ahead. Straight and My mistake. Line. We are in the turn dual turn lane though, so we can either turn or go straight from here. Look at these dancing lines on the crosswalk. <laughs> it didn't quite. It's like it's trying to map them visually instead of paint them. They've been doing this for the last couple versions. Doesn't quite give you confidence that it knows what it sees, does it? No, but it's kind of fun. <laughs> it's kind of <laughs> All right, here we go. We got green, should proceed straight. Looks like it's got a solid uh, trajectory there. 
sticking with 15 miles an hour. I got a car right on my rear end, so I'm gonna speed up just a smidge here. We have a red light up here anyway, so. This is kind of a more sharper left turn that we're gonna take. Yeah, it's kind of a funny one, isn't it? So I'm wondering, cause remember that last video we made, there was that sharp turn and they did that little boost. I wonder how it's gonna take this yeah. turn. There's a, me there's a median over here too that is not being mapped in the center. So it has to go around that median. Matter of fact, you can even see that car there on the display. Oh, wow, he's gonna have to do a three point turn because it's such a tight turn for. Oh, no, he made it. He made it. Got a good turn radius. Yeah. Yeah, this is an interesting intersection here. So it's kind of a, what I, what I really am curious is, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but there's these vertical pillars that prevent you from going straight here but they're not mapped at all on the screen. I wonder if the car, all right, we got a turn arrow. Here we go. We're turning. Okay. What do you think? That was good. Not it bad. didn't do the boost. Yeah. It kind of like went straight a little bit and then it turned. So it yeah. didn't kind of make a full. Did it feel smooth? Kind of like it already knew what it was gonna do or did it feel like it was gonna figure it out along the way? Kind of along the way. Yeah. To me, it felt like it was vision looking and finding the path. And, you know, it couldn't see it when it started the turn. So it kind of went a little adjustment, a little adjustment. And those adjustments were a little jerky, but it, it did never stop. It was just a, not a smooth, fluid maneuver. Yeah, I agree. And it didn't ever feel like a, like a boost. Just yeah. little jolts. Yeah, I agree with that. Used a turn signal there when it didn't need to. Okay, so it's jumping on this access road here a little bit. It needs to get over two lanes. There's no traffic for it to deal with, so it can pretty much do whatever it needs. Crossed a white line, and we've talked about that in past videos. Got a solid green, so it should just roll this. Oh, oh. Okay, we're good. <laughs> there was a boost though, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, yellow, is it gonna go for it? Looks like it's going for it. We like yellows here. All right, what do you think about what it just did? Uh, that was an experience to say the least. Um, it was It was smooth. You just didn't really know what was going to happen, but it, it did it. It did it fine. There was no traffic, so it didn't no. have to fight anybody to get to do what it needed to do. And okay, absent. Okay, there's a car coming. It needs to wait. They are turning right, but signals there's... are not always 100% indication of intent. All right, let's see. It's trying a right on red here. It's got to go around. Ooh, the... Oh my god, barricade! Okay. <laughs> Did you think it was going to hit that barricade? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> it might have. I had to disengage there. Uh, it's almost like it wasn't mapping that barricade as drivable space. There was a lot of construction kind of where we are. So it was like a wall of barricades and then like fences on top of the barricades. Yeah. And we'll have the camera uh, probably see that pretty well. Um, I'm not sure how close we got. We might have set off the ultrasonic sensors that would have showed exactly, but it was it was it was close. It was closer than I would have ever driven as as a human. Probably you too. Yeah. Um, interesting. So that might have been a vision versus map data issue. It might have thought there was a lane there, and it it was just I don't know. Okay. Pothole. Oh. Okay. So it got in the right lane and then almost jumped out of it and then decided at the last second to stay in it. A little bit of indecision there. Didn't ultimately jump out of the lane, but the turn signals definitely were on. How are you doing after that last one? I'm good. Okay. The drive's almost over. We only got a, f a few more minutes. You see here on the route, we're just going to go a couple blocks after this intersection, then we'll be wrapping up. But, um, I, I think this is a pretty typical drive. It's like every once in a while there's a nice road with no traffic and you get all this confidence, but then all of a sudden, bam, 
Okay. Oh, we're going straight. Oh, we're going, we're going straight. Okay. Yeah. So oh. <laughs> Ellie was starting to think we were turning left there because uh, there were two pedestrians crossing that you probably saw on the map. Now we're turning left here. Okay. My apologies. It's good. Yeah, but it was close, it wasn't was, it? Yeah. It, it, it went too wide on that turn for my comfort level. I just didn't disengage because it, it looked like it was going to be okay, but... Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Okay. So that is an amazing situation of a curb that was on the other side of a hill that it couldn't see. And by the time oh. it was there, it was too late. Okay, I'm back on. All right, so we uh, had a little GoPro um, turn I'm off back. there. Hello. Anyway, that was a good situation where a curb that changed the drivable space wasn't visible until we got over the curb, and we were hauling butt over that hill. <laughs> it went really fast. And I think we, I think we'd have gone over that curb. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Well, we finished our little uh, downtown uh, reaction video drive here. Um, I don't know. Give me like a little 30 second sum up. What do you think? Um, well, just in general, we don't live in Atlanta like areas like this. So I think even if I was driving through this area, there's things to learn and navigate that you aren't always used to. So I think it was definitely a challenge for the car, but I think it was a good test to see what its capabilities are and what it can do. Um, so it, there, it was a little scary all these times, but my dad's really good at catching it. So really glad that he caught everything um yeah i i mean i think it was an experience okay. I, don't, I don't know all right we'll leave it at that hey thanks for watching uh leave comments below ellie loves reading her comments by the way so uh give it a little shout out to ellie in the in the comments below and uh we'll wrap this up and uh say goodbye from atlanta